Hi everyone, Crypto Layman here. Thank you very much for coming back and tuning back in. If you're new here, welcome to the little community that we have. We try and answer a lot of questions that people have as a community. So the comment section is usually quite active. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave a comment and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep uh, getting regular updates about the Helium network and uh, many other projects as and when the updates are available. If you find the information helpful in this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so the YouTube algorithm can recommend this video to other people and they can also benefit from these videos. So without further ado, we'll get straight into this video. Today we'll be discussing the upcoming validators that are currently running on the testnet and what that would mean for uh, current hotspot owners and also the introduction of uh, light hotspots in the future and what that would mean for current uh, hotspot owners. We'll look at uh, how the whole system is structured and what these two new contributors uh, to the blockchain or to the ecosystem will actually bring. The blockchain uses several computers on the network called nodes. Currently all the hotspots connected to the Helium network and the hotspots uh, coming online in the uh, near future will all be acting as nodes because there is no designated servers to keep a record of the blockchain. And this is where the validators come in. There are several things that uh, can cause the blockchain production or the block production to slow down. And things uh, like internet speeds or a fault in the hardware uh, can cause all sorts of delays. So block production can get delayed. So this is where the validators will be uh, coming in. Validators will be designated uh, computers and servers that will stake a minimum of 10,000 HNT tokens and those will eventually start producing blocks on the network. They will start writing those blocks and also reach consensus on the blocks to make sure that they are permanently secured on the blockchain. That is a function that the block uh, validators will be taken over. For the foreseeable future, the proof of coverage challenging mechanism will still be controlled by individual hotspots uh, that are spread out across the globe. The hotspots that we currently have will keep introducing these proof of uh, coverage challenges and keep issuing those challenges. But going forward in the future, once the validators are performing well and everything's working as desired, the role of issuing uh, proof of coverage challenges will be assigned to the validators as well so in layman's terms how it works at this moment in time that each hotspot creates a challenge to challenge a random different hotspot across the globe to provide a uh, proof of coverage which uh, is then logged by the witnesses etc onto the ledger and then that block is uh, sub submitted to the consensus group who double check and verify the the transactions uh, before they actually submit it onto the blockchain and make it permanent that way. So instead of doing that, eventually the validators will take over the role of issuing uh, proof of coverage challenges and they will start issuing those challenges uh, to randomly selected uh, hotspots across the, the, the blockchain. In other terms, all the hotspots in the future will become light hotspots because it's a responsibility of consensus uh, and the responsibility of creating challenges will be taken away by the validators from existing hotspots. So that brings us onto the topic of light hotspots. And as you can see here, this is also outlined in the uh, Helium uh, documentation website, uh, docs.helium.com, mine HNT light hotspots. This is where you can find all the documentation and all the necessary information. It explains how the arch architecture is going to work, the code and development, and the most important thing that it shows here is the first milestone, the free packet forwarding milestone, uh, has been completed on March the 18th this year. But the thing to be noted is that no uh, light hotspots uh, will be able to earn uh, any HNT at this stage. Then we have milestone 1.5, which is due to be completed between mid and uh, mid April. Not sure what the update is on this currently. Light hotspots will not participate in proof of coverage challenges. However, uh, they can be added to the blockchain at this stage. And then the second milestone is going to be May or June, so some sometime around this month. It hasn't even yet been started. 
and then that's where all light hotspots will be able uh, to earn, earn HNT from packet forwarding. So if you are in an area where the, the data credits are being currently used, and if your hotspot uh, is transmitting those data credits over, over to the network, then you'll be able to earn uh, rewards from that packet forwarding. At the third milestone, again, it's not been started yet, and that's going to be happening once milestone two has been completed, obviously in the chronological order. They are basically HIP-19 HIP approved manufacturers will be able to earn HNT from POC. So challenges, so Curling is the first approved maker to submit a light hotspot design. Uh, and onboarding for these light hotspots will be done via the standard Helium wallet. The fee will be equivalent to the, to the current hotspots, so $40 uh, for onboarding and $10 for uh, any reasserts of location. Again, I will come on to Curling. They have issued a design here, and you can actually pre-order these light hotspots, but I'll come on to that towards the end of this video. The final milestone, uh, once uh, all the validators are up and running, and they have been running on the on the main net and everything's fine. As I explained previously, that's where the, the proof of coverage challenges, the creation of those challenges will be assigned over to the validators. Essentially, when that role is taken away from all the hotspots, that is when every hotspot becomes, by definition, a light hotspot. So the only ways your hotspot will be able to earn HNT will be by issuing beacons, witnessing challenges. So those will be the, the two proof of coverage elements that your hotspot will partake in and also earn HNT for, and also the very obvious uh, transmission of data credits over the network. So those three will be the main activities for your hotspot or any hotspot across the network to earn some Helium tokens. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. They are thinking that in about 25 years of time, the balance of uh, how hotspots are earning HNT at this moment in time will actually tip uh, from proof of a challenge earnings to more data credit transmission earnings as the network grows. But that will happen over the next 25 years and the scales will slowly tip in favor of uh, DC credit uh, rewards. That is obvious because the more the network expands, the more data is transmitted, the more HNT will be earned by the, that data transmitted over the network. So now we'll come on to the Helium Light Hotspot manufacturer that's been approved, and that's Curlink. Calship are currently uh, taking pre-orders. The shipping for these will begin in the beginning of fall 2021, so we're talking about October November time. I hope uh, this information and this video was somewhat helpful and hopefully this has clarified a few questions. If you have any further questions, if you want to ask them, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. I always endeavor to uh, try and reply to each and every comment. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every subscription helps. I really, really uh, appreciate all your support. Uh, make sure you Hit that bell icon so you can be updated when new videos come out. I try and update uh, as and when there are updates available in terms of delivery uh, changes for current hotspots uh, and orders from all the, the manufacturers across the board. So whenever I post a new update in relation to a new delivery update or shipping update, uh, make sure you hit the bell icon to get that uh, notification. Uh, if you find this information helpful, please make sure you hit that like button on the video so it, the, a YouTube algorithm can recommend this video further to other people and other people can benefit from this video. Once again, thank you very much for tuning in. This is Crypto Layman. Make sure you look after yourselves and I will speak to you soon.